Good morning once again viewers and I am doing an interview here now with Mr. Ronald Singh from Goal and we are going to go through what Goal is and how Goal affects you in its entirety. Uh, Mr. Singh, thank you for being here. Thank you for this opportunity to educate Guyanese about Goal and how they could further their education online. Thank you for having me, Critic. Yeah. Um, what is your position at Goal? Well, I'm currently Deputy Director responsible, responsible for enrollment. Enrollment. And, student affairs. and that, is, that is something big. Um, we have had, Guyana in general has had a lot of shortcomings, moreover during the pandemic time because people Correct. could not have um, gone to schools and so on. And I, I think Goal plays an integral role in, in, in dealing with those issues. Can you tell us a little bit about Goal? Um, yes. What Goal is, how it was formed, and you know what can people benefit from Goal? All right, to begin, uh, Goal, the Guyana Online Academy of Learning, mm -hmm. Goal. Basically, it has its uh, inception in the PPP mm -hmm. under uh, President Dr. Ifanali, part of the uh, transformational vision for moving this country forward. Uh, as a manifesto promise, as well as budgeted promise, they established goal last year, officially in March of last year. So we are about approaching our second year officially. And the whole idea of goal was to offer online programs to as wide a cross-section of people in this country as possible. See, one of the underlining factors was during the president's uh, well, pre-presidency, visits to uh, several outlying areas like Region 1, 7, part of 2, 8, 9, he found that a lot of people were there who were, were, were not having the required skills. And as a result, he thought that ideally, if we can offer programs to those people, they don't need to come to Georgetown. You know the general trend, if you want a higher education, you have to come to GT or one of the cities, one of the centers across the country, mostly along the coastline. And he thought, well, to avoid that, let the people stay in their villages. And so goal is aimed at bringing education to the people in their homes in the villages. That's the first important factor. Added to that, it means taking them wherever they are. They, over the years, you know, only the privileged people sometimes go to university. Now, this gives everybody a chance to have a university education right in their home. Now, COVID was not there yet when this was planned. So you can see the vision was a great vision. And I believe online program is here to stay. It's not going to go away. Goal intentionally had, or in its, 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 its um, first form has a, an amount of scholarships. Good. Again, Goal's purpose is to give Education, not only given scholarships, but free. That's correct. It's free of cost. That's right. You can get a university education. Right. At many different levels, true goal, free of cost. cost. Yes, you can have a certificate from a certificate, a two-month certificate, right on to a PhD as of this year. Via goal. Via goal. Free of cost. And importantly, we, 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 we engage. We have we are partnered with about fifteen institutions currently. Some in India, in Europe, and Africa as well as Guyana. And viewers, just for your understanding, it's not gold as in the sense jewelry. It is gold or the precious metal. It is G O A L. So looking to use this platform or this uh, online schooling method, you can achieve your goals. Right, so it is goal achieving your goal. Just to have it in your head as to making yourself a better person, better educating yourself and everything as a Guyanese um, will afford you better jobs. Well, when, when they're qualified, when they finish their programs, they would have had intellectual gold. In <laughs> yes, yes, true sense gold. You would have acquired gold. Um, that is in 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 a currency worldwide has value. By the way, um, so. Tell me some of the, the 
certificates and, and, and different things that right. you have begin, to offer. We have, we have some certificates that don't require formal education. You don't need CXC. If you have, that's fine. Okay. You must be functionally literate, meaning you can read and write. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a few certificates well like that to cater for people. Can you mention some and who do those Well, we have event, event, event planning. We have uh, uh, wedding planning. We have photography. We have one in uh, creative writing. These don't require any formal education. There are a host of others. There's 190 programs. So just for clarity, guys, Kwati Mr. Singh, uh -huh. just for clarity, you could have gone to primary school and were able to read and write, write your... your, your um, right to go over to secondary school or might have just been in secondary school in the earlys and didn't get the opportunity to write your CXC, there are courses. There are courses that you can apply for and by the way, the application process is online. It's still on, yes, until the 18th of this month. Well, so use that opportunity. You can go online and what is the website? It's www.goal.edu.gy www.goal.edu.gy Go there and they will have all the courses up there that you can look at and decide what and, and no matter who you are. Once you're able to read and write, this basically comes down to basically being able to process it. You can read a paper. If you can read a book, you do not, it's not required that you have any um, you know, certification or write CXE. Once you could read a book, once you could send messages in your WhatsApp, once you could read a Facebook post, you go look at what Goal has to offer and look at where would you like to expand in your life. This is free of cost and this is done by the government of Guyana. That's so, we have those for persons who would have had right. shortcomings in their schooling. Correct. What do we have for, give me, give me across well, the board. We also have certificates and diplomas, mm -hmm. bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, postgrad diplomas, and now PhDs for the others, academic and those who are qualified um, in various fields. In all is about 190 different fields of um, Programs. And you can you name some of the universities that people will yes, be accessing? Certainly. certainly. If you look at bachelor's degree, in our first year we, we were unable to find um, universities that accept people with just CSEC. They wanted Cape. And as a result, they, but anyway, those were three years, three years bachelor's degree. Now we were able to find at least four institutions. UNICAF has three of them and Texila. Now Texila is in Guyana. They have a bachelor's degree, four-year bachelor's degree. We have accepted a few of them. And they only require CSEC, five CSEC with English and math. Same thing with UNICAF Uganda, UNICAF uh, Malawi, and UNICAF uh, Zambia. They have some bachelor's degree, also require only high school CSEC, basically, for us. And that's a great um, advantage over the previous year. Because now... We, we don't have to bother to get CAPE or A-levels or any further diploma before we can get into the bachelor's. Our students can now enter. The other thing about that is that we have a range of programs in the field. We have been able to get quite a, three to four programs in the health field, health care, health management, public health, something that we, didn't, we weren't able to do in the first year. Uh, we also have courses in nutrition, food and nutrition. We have from Jane University and IU in Germany. We have courses that are what, what is called the New Age courses, meaning they are not the rank and file programs. We, for example, artificial intelligence, AI yes. courses in AI. We have Beautiful. Robot, we have robotics. We have other IT related field courses that were not offered. So these are New Age programs that are attracting a lot of attention. Let's say I am comfortable. I've got a house, a car, I've got a great job. I've been educated at the university again, but I want to expand in somewhere. Good. Can I apply to goal? Yes. First they... of all, first of all, there is no age limit. That's the first thing. 
there is a limit on the limit because the universities don't take people with below 18. Of okay. course, we can make a case for 17 years and up. Okay. They will go by it once they're qualified. Um, PSM usually don't give a scholarship for people over 35. The University of Guyana, any university, they might allow it through the university. But the Guyana government does not give scholarship for people over 35. Okay. We were able to, through goal, because of the vision and the whole objective of this program, get the PSM to agree that there should be no limit, upper limit to age. Last year we had a lady, age 68, who completed or who were studying a, who was studying a, a certificate program. Now, it's geared not only to those people who dropped out of school. What about people who would have started their studies and quit for family reasons, for a number of other reasons? Now they can come back and get a degree. Now they can come back and go on, advance themselves, stay home moms. People who quit the work because of children, they are home. Families, uh, other people who would have lost their job as a result of COVID. Now they can upgrade their skills. At the end of the day, what we would have is an educated masses with education in the villages, as we say, all over the country. And it will go a far way in forging what is called a knowledge society, where everybody has or is using information and so on for processing and for advancing not only themselves, eventually the economy. So that's the, that's the kind of objective that, um, and vision, transformational vision, that President Dr. Ali brings through goal program. I could remember, I, I, can't, I, I don't know if it's still the number, but I can remember goal's target was 20,000 scholarships. Yes, that still is the, the target, but over a five-year period. Over a five-year period. Yes, last year we, we were... Uh, slated to give 4,500 scholarships. We ended up giving 6,000 scholarships. Well, when I say we, hmm. true goal. Goal, goal yes. Yes, 6,000 scholarships. What is the target for this year? This year, the target again is approximately four or five. Um, but we know that that's, once there's funds, that will go up to. The government is likely, once there's funds to fund the scholarship, hmm. they're likely to increase it. Remember, we also have a, Students would have started last year, continuing. Yes. They are not part of the new scholarship. Okay. The next thing is um, certificates. You would got you could get certificates within two months, within three months, and these minimum two months. Minimum two months. But we have some as long as uh, six months. So we obviously goal has to have some stats as to pass rates and so on, because Good. it's a year now, a lot of people would have already Good. been certified. Wonderful. Can you give me an idea of that? All right. The, the first set of graduates, of people who graduate, not graduates because it's short courses, 385 finished uh, last year, the first set of program. Mm -hmm. Some of those continue into second part, so they're in the program right now. Mm -hmm. And they're expected to finish as we speak. So by the time, I would assume by the next two weeks or so, we should have about, including last year's 300 plus, we should have over 700 completing their certificate programs. Mm -hmm. The other programs are longer, one year and up. So that's when some are going to finish later in this year and next year and the following year, depending on which program, like the masters and so on. Can, does Goal have an idea as yet? Are there dropouts? Oh yes. Oh yes. And at what rate? Like every institution, uh, there, is a, there is an acceptable rate. I don't think we have crossed the unacceptable or reached the unacceptable rate. I think we're about 20% or maybe just over 20%, but not more than 25 Is Gold doing any Hold on, before, before we go there, yes. Mm -hmm. Before we go there, the num you see the reasons were understandable. For example, one of the re some of the reasons um, include lack of internet. You know, we, we, we venture into the program. A lot of students apply, but in the end, they don't have access. Then there's a group that dropped out because we couldn't contact them. Mostly in Region 8, for example. Over 300 applicants from there could not have benefited because we couldn't contact them. They asked us to contact them through some radio program. We were brand new last year. We didn't even understand how to go about that. Mm -hmm. But that's so is goal working to make adjustments yes. to that? If you look, we are doing it, but remember that's it's out of our hands. 
But the government, if you look at what's, ha what's happening right now. I think so, there's a massive project to ensure correct. the internet goes so, across the country. Through the uh, office of the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And they have already started. They've been to region 9, 6, 5. They are working in two to make sure we can, by the end of this year. Over 200 Amerindian communities as well as across this coastline have access to high-speed internet. Because I would want to think when goal, uh, when it was conceptualized and it began, you can't know everything is going to no, happen. Certainly. But as you progress, you realize that people are affected in negative manners in this way and that way. What I um, you know, am looking at is that people have made the effort. Yes, And that suggests that people want to learn. Correct. People want to further their education. So goal might have to go a little off course of its original plan. Because you would have drafted a plan. The process right. is come online, That's see right. what you want, do your thing, we give you for free. We get you certified. That's right. It so happens in the process, things happen that could not have been foreseen. And I'm hoping that when those people get the internet, they could look back at that. There needs to be some assessment because the effort would have already been made. Let me tell you, I applied for a course uh -huh. and um, the staff at Goal reached out to me. And I'm, because I say here, even if I don't do this thing, I want to see what's this process, how right. easy it will right. be. So I applied. Um, I can't remember. It was an Indian university. They have a yes, lot of we universities. Had, we in had India. three of them at the time. Three in India, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Ignore Jane. Yeah, right? So... Um, I was looking at something in that area and then I get caught up and they follow up with me more than three times. That's correct. That's Message right. me, email me, say Mr. Do. Rodriguez, you know, you got up to this time to finish up this application process and I said here, That's I can't make do. it. I'm taken up. I ain't planned for doing my life. Right. That is understandable. That's my own fault, you know, but we still do that. Yes. I'm hoping that, you know, goal can see it to adjust themselves to make sure that every game is now, I'm looking at it, if he says it's a 20%, we're looking at 16,000 um, people having the opportunity. 16? There's, well, there's overall, one. over the five years, it will be 20,000. Yeah, 20,000 people minimum. having. But if we say we consider a drop rate, right? Right. Like all school and educational processes. So we took in about 6,000. The dropout rate's probably, as I said, just about 1,000, just over 1,000. Okay. It's, and it's then, close to 5,000. And then there's a lot of those, as you stated the circumstances, would be things that will be adjusted in the near future. Yes. Government is, is making sure places get internet and their That's internet correct. hubs all about. That's one. And a lot more people can now access it. Because people might have the internet. Now, look, GTNT sent um, a bill to me for internet. So it's not only having, you have access to the internet, but things in is your it? personal life might be ready. The main fact that you have to make the step to go and for the education in this level, right? I, I, I think it's 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 a good right. start because of the fact that a lot of people think they're at this level. You know, only recently parliament you hear people say who went to this school and who went to this school. So people are thinking differently. But nonetheless the opportunities are there for Guyanese. That's right. That and that is what is important. Making sure that Guyanese can have access yes. to education at multiple levels. Correct. You understand? Because we have primary and secondary education. But how does one further um, their education? And in a number of fields, that wasn't the norm. Goal has PhDs and everything else right. that really wasn't the norm. You don't access it normally. That's correct. Right? So you're, you're not only accessing different levels of education, you're accessing it online and you're accessing it free of cost. Correct. Right? And a wide range of programs. Wide range of programs. We yeah. have we have courses, as I said, in um, healthcare, public health, nursing, uh, social work. We have uh, food and nutrition. We have oil and gas. We have even one, uh, two, two master's degree in law, wow. plus PhD in business and IT and education. So the range is important. You see, you, you, see, you try to make sure you have a a uh, solid, broad base of skills. I know Build capacity building in the country. I know from time to time because I've heard, and I am not the academic, I must say, but there are things that you would do at the University of Vienna. And if you were to travel abroad, you would have to do a rehash to be able to um, get a job in a certain area. 
from goals, certificates, diplomas, degrees, and everything else that they offer is in tune with what would be terms, uh, the norms in Guyana, and people could actually access jobs with them because it's well, an we, important thing. Correct. We are trying our best mm. to make sure that's the um, objective. But really and truly, we are broader than that. It's, it's a forward thinking that some areas of this country are going to advance that we've not seen before. And so we're trying to qualify people or build their capacity all in those areas. In different areas. That's right. That might need me existing. Correct. Because AI, for instance, AI. We're not big on AI. AI no. is more um, tuned for technologically advanced country and, right. and is using, you know, but we, we're looking to go there. Start. That's right. We need to have people in all the fields. Okay. That's the way we're going to move forward. Beautiful. Then another thing we goal is attempting to do is to have students who, uh, by the time they're finished, they don't necessarily have to look for a job. They can use. Tell their me skills. about that. They can use their skills. We have not had sufficient uh, areas for, for now because we are looking all the time for online programs. You see, most of these programs are taught face to face. Mm. And so to find online programs in some skill area is not very easy. But the idea is, in some courses, forget the degrees for now, let's say the shorter courses, like event planning, for example. You don't have to complete that to start. But once you start getting the knowledge, how you do event planning, you can immediately start, start applying it in your life. Correct. If you're Same in that area. The wedding planning, just to give two areas. We would have liked to bring in a lot more but it's difficult to teach the kind of skills, the hands-on skills, from afar. You need local institutions. And one negative is that our institutions have not been able to, to develop these programs over the last, say, decade. Now they are pushing because of COVID. What they have is a makeshift online program, not a true online program. And so we are hoping that at some time, maybe by next year, a lot of our local institutions, GTI, GSA, UG, um, Carnegie, because they have the kind of programs where people can start earning almost immediately or just by the time they finish. Short courses, but it's a skill upgrade. And that's the whole idea. Um, it's not possible now because institutions can offer. Let's, let's give for example, we got 500 applications for a course we advertised last year, motorcycle repair or something like that. 500 people applied for that course. But IGNU could not have offered it in Guyana because they have to have establishment with motorcycle repair shops that are going to supervise this training. And get hands-on experience. Correct. They don't have that in place. So a lot of the good programs like those can come, but a local institution like GTI could do it because they set up places across the country. You teach some part of it uh, via online, and then you can come in small groups of different parts of the country and do your hands-on. So we are not there yet, but we are trying our best. Meanwhile, we are trying to make sure that people become more literate. Those who are out of jobs, can now look to see if they can tweak their skills and move into something else. But the whole idea is to have a knowledge society at the end of the day. A society that's well, well not well educated necessarily, but at least comparable education. And goal definitely is going to achieve a good portion of that objective. Well, I, 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 I think it is very interesting because education is, um, you know, one of the pillars to success. My mother used to say the key to success. Um, you know, I am a high school dropout and I've been very successful at what I do. So I don't say, you know, the key, True. but it is one of the pillars to success That's and right. one of the important pillars to success, right? Some of us have gone off and, you know, started the garage right. uh, university and we've That's done extremely right. well. But nonetheless, um, I think in accessing what goal has to give, because it's free, because you could do it in most cases in a timely, in a year time That's right. period, why not expand on your knowledge base? That's why not 
let's say the IT persons in Guyana, why not equip yourself with the knowledge of artificial intelligence? Something that yes, in the five years, in five years, you know, we're gonna need that because a lot of people do not understand their thinking is a thinking by itself. But algorithms is the basis for things like artificial intelligence. You set an algorithms and it thinks and it makes adjustments. It's, you know, so once we have the knowledge of that, we will be looking at you know websites and we might be able to because look at the, the, the sites of the world, TikTok and social media platforms. Correct. They've Correct. created and they have AI technology behind them and algorithms behind them. And if we can educate ourselves in that level, I think it would be very interesting. Right. Now I know goal is on a push to sign up. Um, persons before the 18th. Yes. Um, just tell me a little bit of what Goal expects, who Goal is looking for. Sometimes, Peter, just give me a run through Good. Well, in our closing. To tell you again that we expect at least the government to probably offer another 6,000 scholarships. But they set their target at four or five. Nevertheless, we're going to take in. Last year, we got over 8,000 applications. And this year, we anticipate, even if we don't get eight, we're going to get Definitely over 7,000. And um, So goal is reaching its goals. This is the first thing. Yes, 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 yes. we are. We, we had some hiccups in the first year, but now we have corrected, smoothed out some of those. So we are moving a little better. One of the things we plan to do um, is to hire counselors, to counsel our students. Like in your case, they would have gotten to you and said, well, why drop out? Why not take it on this and advise you how you can go about and still complete without dropping out? Because there are courses like that um, so that's one area the other thing is that look at the range of the program yes we may need to bring in some others but we try to actually our, 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 our course base at the moment is based on both perceived and actual needs of the economy like the oil and gas we have we have we started a program last year but it actually started this year in oil and gas by NRMEC uh, treaty NRMEC out of UK. They have a base here in Guyana too. And they are teaching people this HSSE and and uh, different areas of fitting pipes and welding and, and, and those areas that are related to rigging and so on. Oil and gas industry. Now that's because we, we, we anticipate people getting in. At least they will have the skills and ready. At the same time, some of them can apply that knowledge across other industries. Like in the pipe fitting or the, or the welding for example. Right? Um, so that's the kind of the, the kind of focus that Goal wants to bring. That will not only educate the people, but will try to broaden the, the educational base, the knowledge base. Um, ultimately, education, you know, we use it today to get a job. But in the real sense, education was meant to prepare you, not necessarily to go find a job, but prepare you mentally with the skills that you can apply and get, get through in life, like you. You might not have gone to university at the time when you start up, but you're successful. And there are a lot of people like that. But at the same time, there are others who might need to get a little push. And Education little, is important. I, I can't overstate what, that. That's correct. That is very important because understanding, comprehending, being able to read, you know, it is very, very important. That cannot be overstated. You know, for the viewers, you must understand. Um, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. And... Goal is for Guyanese. I think the only requirement is being able to read and write. No, in some cases, yes. Uh, yes, in some cases, some certificates, and being Guyanese. Yes. That's where it starts from, right? There are a number of some requirements, but it starts from there. People who just Guyanese and know for read and write, you can go online and apply to Goal and further your education and acquire a certificate which will you know really put you on par with a professional um process if you're your wedding planning and all these kind of things you could be certified to do that mm -hmm. um so goal has up to 18 the 18th of this month yes that they're closing off correct and um can you say a bit about what kind of areas would you like people to fit themselves in there's obviously well, i would say all the areas because we don't determine for example is the minister the public service ministry will decide how many they give how many scholarships per program 
Okay. But we would say apply, spread your spirit. You have three choices. You don't get your first, you can get your second. If you don't get the second or first, you get your third. Because the, the minister and the, the, the team will decide. We are not part of that. Mm -hmm. However, I encourage people to apply to all the programs. Ap apply across the board. However, I caution them on a couple of things, which based on our observation. We notice that uh, they are not reading sometimes the instructions, some of those we have processing right now. And by not reading the instructions or the criteria for a particular program, they sometimes apply uh, for a program that they don't have the requisite background for. And as a result, unnecessarily they can end up be being negated when they could have found another related program based on their background, their educational background. What I mean is that if you see a program requires CAPE and you don't have CAPE, don't apply. Okay. Right? You see, you, you want a master's degree. You know that you require a bachelor's degree or an equivalent or an equivalent qualification for you to do a master's. Similarly, if you're going to apply to PhD, you require at least a master's. We don't have any programs at the moment that waive those things. I know there are institutions around the world, good ones too, that can take you based on your work experience and give you a master's degree without a bachelor's. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those programs at the moment. Now, another, another observation is that uh, they don't go, there is, there, there is a video on our website that tells them exactly the whole process, walks them through the whole process, three minutes, three and a half minutes at most, walks them through the whole process of applying to a program. Apparently, they don't want to spend the time. So guys, let me let me stop here before we go too far. There is a process for everything, like everything else in life. There's also a process for applying for free scholarships on the Goal website, and everything is online. And I would want to think, if you are serious about expanding the horizons um, with Google, because it is mostly based online, the first thing you should get right is the application process. So Correct. use the video, look at it, and that would be the first process that you get or information that you get from Google that will educate you in a certain manner. So what it does, the video, three minutes video is it, yes. tells you how to go on Google, how to apply, you know, what is the process, you do that. And be very cognizant about what you're seeing when you go after, right? So this is just for some clarity as, as Mr. Singh is saying, right? It's very important for right. you guys to apply in a certain manner, for don't waste your time and don't waste Google's time also. And I yeah. believe there are some technical glitches. Some people are attempting to apply with their smartphones. But the website is not set up for smartphones. But you can apply if you have a tablet or a laptop or desktop. Okay. So some of them use the phones. And I think it does create a little problem for them. Especially when it comes to like uploading certain... Um, so try to use your maybe a laptop, the least a tablet. And um, because you, you got to see certain, you got to click on certain things, you have to put in certain information. And I went through the whole process. I went through that whole process. Okay. I was accepted. And then they tell me, well, here, the, the process is going to start here. And at the time, I was not able to do that. I was busy with something I can't remember. But I think I'm going to make a try this year. Yeah. So we got up to the 18. The 18 goal is going to be closing off the application process. Um, have you, because you say you want, um, and, and from that, you're going to choose 4,500. Right. You'd like anybody and everybody to apply. That's correct. Um, uh, across the board, there's no specific um, courses that you would like to see Take Any course that you think, Any you course for. That you think right. is going to afford the education. You have three choices. So if you don't get your first, you get your second. But make the choices wisely. Okay. You know? So if you, for example, you got two areas you want to focus, make sure your three choices in those. Or one area, three different institutions or three different programs, but they're related. So you still achieve, you don't get, let's say, uh, your bachelor's in public health or health care. You can get it in public man health, public health management. You see? Oh. So you, you, you're still getting something that's closely related. 
So, so it's a matter of planning it. Mr. Singh, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Um, I'm hoping Guyanese use the opportunity to apply to go to further your education. And this doesn't only mean forging your education, but this also means attaining your goals in life. Correct. Because within with education, you are now empowered and you can move forward into the 21st century a better, brighter Guyanese. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for having me. And thank you listeners, viewers. Please apply. We look forward to processing your applications. 18th is the cutoff date. But you know how everything is going. I think they're going to get a couple of days more. Awesome. Let me hope. Let me hope. Thank you guys.